So for material and tools for these layers, I'm using 35 pound monofilament line. I've got four O'Shaughnessy hooks, size 2 slash 0. These are just nickel plated. Some red nail varnish. Three 400 mil of mylar tubing and a pair of snips. So this is 2 mil or 3 16th mylar tubing in silver. Normally available from where you would buy fly tying equipment. Also in, in shops that sell material or crafts, it's normally sold as silver piping uh, and you can buy it off the meter. So the first thing to do with this is just uh, take out the cord in the middle. You see there there's bits of uh, white. And I've, I've cut off here probably about 400mm, 450mm, 18 inches, something like that. And I'm just going to slide that out there. There we go. So I'm going to take a ruler, I'm going to cut this into 3 inch pieces, 75mm um, approximately. Doesn't matter if it's curved. So I need four pieces. I have an extra one for good luck. So then to stop the ends fraying when I'm putting onto the hook, what I'm going to do is just roll them in a bit of nail varnish. Just one end. It's just to hold it together. Let's get something there. And then just rest them on something. So once the nail varnish is dried I can take my piece of tubing and just thread it up the hook just carefully just till it gets kind of round the bend and then I can let the hook point out and just push it round. There we go. So to form the snood and attach it to the hook I'm going to take my line and thread it through the top of the eye about two or three hundred mil. And then I'm going to come back through the bottom. Pull that through. And that's going to give me my first loop there. So to make my second loop, I can see I've pinched this to the shank. I'm going to take my tag end and thread it through the first loop. There we go. Two loops. Then the line that goes back to the spool I'm going to tighten and close the first loop. Now what I don't want to do is pull this line through that eye so I'm not using that much pressure. Then I'm going to flatten this down and get a tighter grip with my fingers. Then I can begin to wrap. I normally do somewhere between 10 and 15 turns. Then I can trim here. Well, this is cutting the line back to the spool. There we go. Just swap hands, holding that all together. And I'm going to take this tag end now and pass it through that second loop. There we go. And that's going to leave me just to pull that loop up. And I'm going to take the other end of the line and pull that gently. That should close up the knot. There. Then it's just a case of trimming this tag end here. Leaving a bit on it just to protect the knot. And finally to finish just a quick coat of nail varnish. There we go. So once that varnish has had a bit of time to dry, you can take a hook and just open up the back of the tail. Just poke your hook in there, starting at one end and working towards the hook.
there you go. So if you have four layers and snoods ready you can move on to assembling the rig and that's on a separate video if you'd like to click on the link.